Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Fjordor, and I looked it up on the wiki. <laughs> I was right about the honey with the, uh, the Andrew Sarkis. Uh, not quite like Roll Rat, but you do need honey to tame him, which I figured... Are you up yet? Nope. Uh, it would make sense, seeing as, you know, Fjordor honey is extremely easy to get your hands on. And let's see. There she is. Okay. So, split one. It does mention Gilly is required on the wiki, but... Okay. Well, you ate it. How about now? It now has a taming bar, right? However, I seem to have uh, aggroed the big dog. I think it's literally a Schwein hunt. Hey, stop it. Okay, you are. Uh, apparently, you got mountain goat in you, too. Oh, yeah. She angry. Alright. Hey, I'll have to try it later on with Gilly. Just to be safe. And probably a little more movement speed. Which, I mean, I got away from this one okay, but... If I didn't have something, you know... To hop up on, like, this... You know, rock base, then, uh... Could have gone very bad for me, indeed. And... Here, I'm up here. Grab some metal. Listen to the nighttime music. Got a lot of metal apparently. And then try to figure a way out or a way down. Back to my raft. Uh thinking parachutes require uh hide, don't they? Good lord. Ran out of stamina trying to break this thing. There we go. How much torpor did I give myself? Eh, decent amount. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's my boat. But, uh, even at nighttime, the tree looks awesome. All right, well, wonder if she's forgotten about me yet. And really? Ah, oh, she found my parasaur. The one that I just teamed up. Uh, it was that one three five we saw last episode. And apparently, yeah. She's down here ish now. Because my parasaur was around here ish. Great. Oh well, it's a parasaur. Not the, you know, best thing, but oh well. Oh, there she is. Hi. We got the Northern Knights, that's awesome. I love that. Alright, well, we'll drop this in here and uh, I guess wait for morning to do anything. I almost had you a friend. Yeah, almost. Yep. Let's hang out over here. There we go. Okay, this is warming up over here. Good. Well, it's morning now. And the Ichthyornis are moving further inland. Where did this beastie go?
Mine now. It was late like 20 minutes ago, so. Good odds that uh, the carbonimus that laid this is actually the one down by my raft. <laughs> All right. Now I am cold again, but I'm just chilled. I'm not freezing, which is kind of nice. Freezing to death is no fun. And there was that other one we saw up here. So, oh, I'm tired. And Okay, there's a stego anyway. Ah, oh, dang it. Now, apparently these things, when they charge at you, don't turn that well. Which is rather reassuring to hear. Okay, so there's an Andrusarchus there. And... Oh, there's a Bronto egg on the ground over there. You gotta be kidding me, really? Freaking bugs? Oh, I need chitin. There. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, re uh, split one off. There we go. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, hey, there's the Obvious. Um, level 85 male, huh? Hmm. Too bad it's going to be a while if I can get sweet veggie cakes. Damn, high level ants. 135 and a 140. There's the third one. Alright. Are you mad at me? Yes, you are. Uh. Okay, and I lost the Andrew Sarkis, so... Well, 15 male carbo, huh? Go to. Ow. Right in the meaty, meaty bits of your ass. All right, let's do this. Jerk. All right, where did where did the pig dog go? There, there it is. Okay, I thought that rock there was another one for a second. Right, so what I have to do is get another piece of honey, because the other one's spoiled, because that stupid friggin' turtle. Alright, 
have to get relatively close. Throw honey. Ride. And we have a mini game now. Okay. Press left or right. There we go. And let go when it turns red. Apparently they destroy stone, and that is actually kind of alarming. Oh, this is going to take a while. Oh, and I just got kicked off. Oy. Oh, now it's coming after me. Okay, great. No, back off. Okay, I'm dead. This is 145 is why. Okay, all right. Now I've got a goal. Hey, we're not that far away from the bed, though, for once. I hate dying, but I love the respawn music, though. Yep. Okay. Well, hell, I mean, you know, I just do this. There we go. I don't like leaving the bags behind, but, meh. It'll fade in time, so. Alright, well, I'm going to keep doing this until I can get this thing tamed up. Alright. We're not going to talk about that. How many times I died? Ooh, no saddle required. Okay, so they're kind of like a dire bear. They start off slow, but the longer you run, the faster they get. And they just plow through everything, it looks like. Alright, now let's see. Um, what can we harvest? Okay. So left click does not harvest berries. Okay, doesn't harvest wood. Yeah, they turn for crap when they're running. You owe me a parasaur. So I stole your big brother. And, okay, so 6,000 health. Okay, that's not bad. Good amount of stamina. 760 weight's not bad. Alright. Good amount of torpidity, though. That'll be handy, I guess. I'm gonna guess you can't harvest stone with a bite. Okay. Okay, you have a kick that uh, doesn't look like it harvests anything. Doesn't even hit trees, really. C does nothing, X does nothing, control, okay. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, that is cool, okay. So, if you're turning gradually, they, they kind of suck, right? But if you, uh, if you snap the camera around, <laughs> they do a power slide, that's awesome, I love that. Or not so much a power slide, but, you know, drift stop, or what do you want to call it. Okay. Oh! That's a bit better of a jump than I thought they would have. And... Buy me a saddle. <laughs> Wonderful. Huh, hello, Guandon. Okay, they take fall damage a, a bit, looks like. Not not horrible. Okay, so the kick does do a stun. Alright, cool. 
but it has to hit like right they have to be right behind you basically on your butt for the kick to work uh, seems to harvest more meat than hide okay cool So I've actually got a pretty decent combat tame already. That is a hell of a jump though. On something this size especially. I can see a Denonicus, you know, sized creature having a jump like that. You know, like the Denonicus even. Alright, you stupid Tranodon. Don't be knocking my Andrew Sarkis off now. Great. There we go. This side we can do. And... That is a hell of a face on you. I remember reading something that these guys were actually more closely related to uh, to deer than to true carnivores, or well, to the carnivora, you know, clade. So I can see it. Looking at that creature, yeah, I can definitely see it. I did find a blue drop near here, by the way. A high parasaur. Yes, here. Uh, that's. What the hell's with my stats coming out like this, right? Okay, so there's my weight. There's his melee. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, do you don't have anything like that, do you? No, no, you're safe. Okay. You just are the devil. Okay. And. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's everybody. Now here's to see if the Trandon is going to knock anybody off of here. Nope, nope, we're good. Okay. It's a hell of a boat I've got going on here, doesn't it? Now there's an island that uh, I definitely want to set up on. So we're heading straight there because, well yeah, it's awesome. I love it. It's not that far away from here. It's right over here. Now, there are leads like this on this map, so something to be careful about. Now, over there, that's the uh, swamp of the map. The whole island is just a giant swamp. There's a swamp cave. Uh, I'm assuming the caves got left alone, because, well, it would make sense. I'm not sure what all other changes there are. There's a ton of underwater content on this map, though. There's a lot of it. It's going to be great. Um... Redwoods are up over by that obelisk there. Over there is the volcanic region with the wyvern trench. Uh, fire wyverns only, but uh, you can get all the wyverns on this map. So, because there's the different realms. Uh, we're on. I guess you could call it Midgar. You know, the land of the humans, pretty much. And then uh, there's there's Valheim, Vanaheim, and uh, Jotunheim. I don't think they added in uh, Nithalheim though. Another female? This one's a low level, though. Hey. Go sleep. You still got meat on you, right? Yeah, you do. Okay. Mm, here, let's do that.
You actually really weren't that hungry, were you? Huh. There we go. Just <laughs> group unfollow, that way in the future I don't have to worry about this guy coming after me. Okay, we got Lystros up here, we've got Dodos galore. So much cake. Uh, it's a beautiful autumn-y area up here. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a relatively flat area, not bad. And we're close to the uh, the mainland there for the uh, the northern continent, I guess we can call it, which is the the largest landmass on this realm, anyway. Pretty close to the uh, swamp as well. We've got freaking Ichthyornis. Okay. Did, was that all the meat? That was all the meat you had. Okay, do not bail off the Andrew Sarkis in mid-leap. You will take fall damage. Hey. Stupid bird. You know what? I need a shotgun. What the hell, bird? Hi. I'm your worst nightmare. Because I need your meat now. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> they have food again. This area seems smaller than I remember it, and I think that's an Alpha Megalodon right there. Oh yeah, that is. Hmm. Lots of sharks in the area. Hey look, fungal wood. Oi, man, I suck at swimming. All right, come on. Um, yeah. Let's see. Well, I'm working on fortitude right now. I want to get that up to at least thirty before I do anything else. I don't know if I'm going to bother sitting up here. It Honestly, it feels smaller than what I remember. Okay. The bird is distracted. Quick. Well, pterosaur. Same thing. It's distracted quick in over here before... You know, I forgot I did this. I found some crystal. I've got dino storage. I'm just going to put everybody away for now. Try to find a uh, place to set up. I mean, I could go move into Helm's Deep, I guess. Hi. All right, come on. There we go. Pick you up. Pick you up. Grab all your stuff. I don't know where the hell you guys think you're going. They were following the moss chops and they just... Oh, you're going to pick him up? Okay, fine. I'm just going to leave. I'm just like a toddler running away from home there. What the hell, guys?
Alright, uh, give me back all my armor. You've got a good amount of levels, actually. Uh, that's probably good. Let's start working on your stamina. Hopefully by the time I can make your saddle, you're actually worth riding. Uh, let's see, what am I? Level 30. Yeah, I got a little bit of, a little bit of work to do until I can, uh, you know, ride you around. There we go. And let's go ahead and grab all this off of you. How much health do you get? 1100 for that level. All right, interesting. So I'll take one of these then. All right, and where would be another good place to set up shop at? I mean, the swamp is, well, it's a swamp, right? Not a bad place, but I'm going to have to deal with things like snakes and sarcos and whatnot coming in to, uh, to say hello a little too often. It's a nice little ice waterfall there. I love that area. Let's see. Let's get over here close to the beach. I don't want to uh, find out... Oh, hey, there's Ichthy's horse. Uh, find out the hard way that a lead sick this can fit in here. Oh wait, I seem to remember something about this here. Nope. Oh no, it's a uh, gather by hand thing. Okay. Salt. Yeah. Do I still have my uh, Andrew? I do, okay. And let's see. How noisy is the waterfall? That's one question. Silica pearls. As you do. You know, it's not terribly noisy. This is real water. That is awesome. Look at that. My parasaur just swam up the waterfall. <laughs> that is cool. All right. Um, I had a tapiara up there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any fish around here, though. Which could mean it would be a decent place to put aquatic tames. I wonder if I could swim... I imagine I could swim like an Ichthyosaur or something up there without a problem. Might have to draw the line at like a Mosa, but... Might be able to get a shark up that. Uh, is this one real? Um, yeah. Sorry for the, the weird graphical thing there, but... That's actual water you can swim up. That is awesome. Then we've got a like a deeper pool right here as well. That is awesome. I love that. Alright, let's go ahead and kinda look around here a bit. I mean it's definitely a very autumn themed area. Very, very autumn themed, but uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Ah, oh, regular dodos, okay, yeah. And there's a party dodo, of course, you know. We have the event going on, so that's going to be a thing. Alright, though, um, not seeing anything else. I hope these stupid dodos aren't going to be taking up all the spawn slots. I really, really hope that's not the case. Oh, we got a stego. And I see a raptor up there. Okay. And an alpha carno. And 
And an Alpha Raptor. Okay. Things just got interesting. What level are you? Level... Oh, crap. 100? Okay. Nothing else. I'm trying to draw this thing away from that Alpha Carno. Well, the good news is my Parasaur is hitting harder than the Alpha Raptor. The bad news is I'm pretty sure it's got a lot more health than I do. Because I'm already like half down and it's not even really bloody yet. So... Yeah, and I can't run away from this thing. Guy, guy. Get in here. Yeah, this Parasaur is dead because the Alpha Raptor is locked on and it will not. Okay, fail. Yep, there went my Parasaur. Dang it. Oh, hey, look at that. Journeyman Metal Hatchet, okay. You know, I just realized there's stuff down here on the bottom left. Runestones. Huh, cool. Uh, let's get you up to like 10k. And you know what? Screw it. We're doing that. And why are we doing this? Because there is an Alpha Carno right over here. With as much knockback as this thing has, definitely a uh, interesting proposition. If I can find Jan Alpha Carno again now. And Okay, there was a stego. Dimorph, okay. back over this way a bit more maybe kind of sort of doubt it how many levels I get 20 okay definitely some oxygen you know what let's get to through uh, 300 on that and more weight Eh, stamina. Definitely stamina, actually. Okay, so attacking while running is a little odd.
Okay, lots of stegos around here then. It's got a little squeak to its attack, where it almost sounds like a uh, lystro being eaten. It's kind of weird. Huh. I do like the uh, the slide that it does though. Oh, we do do trample damage. Interesting. Okay. And that just sounds like somebody, like, pulling their fingers across a, uh, a balloon. An inflated balloon. Hmm. Found the Alpha Carno. I also discovered what those uh, icons are at the bottom left. Slide boost and charges. Charge is activated by hitting C while moving. As near as I, can. I think it's only while moving. Yeah, just be moving. You don't have to be doing full speed. And there we go. And there's your slide boost. And that actually has a cooldown. And yoink. And I'm not sure what slide boost does. Oh, look, we got Truidons. Alpha boost of Truidons. That's great. Wonderful. Mega Nura don't get alpha boosted. Huh. Actually, I guess they do. Wow. Okay, yeah, that was uh, a little bit easier than I think you. I was thinking it was going to be. So we're up to 15 rune stones now. All right, interesting. Uh, you got 11 more levels. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Get a little bit of horse speed and going in on you here. Um, better hat and better gloves. Sure. Oh, improved crossbow even. Nice. Come on. Remove ammo. Thank you. Where the hell's that monkey at? I see you, monkey. Suffer no monkey to live. Alright. And... Hey! Hi, buddy. 102. You know what? Trap my new crossbow. Was that four shots? Yep. Not too bad at all. Uh, my entry sarcus can use the time to heal anyway, and I went ahead and made a whip. I mean, I hit level 20, I had the silk. It's just like, you know, they're just too handy not to have. And there you go. I am liking this like autumn woods area though. Okay, so they don't do trample damages to parasaurs, which is good, because I completely didn't think I'd be running into that guy there. But I did trample some stuff earlier. I think it was probably compies or something hiding in the grass. Man, what is it? Every time I play on Fjordor, I, like, level up off of an alpha really quickly. First time I played on this map, I killed an alpha, I think it was the first episode. That's it, give me that wonderful kite. 
All right. Definitely see these guys as being good for getting around this map. Yeah, the slide boost actually maintains your run speed when you do it. Okay, cool. And you can slowly work up to, you know, the proper speed. Or you can hit C while moving. Oh, does... Yeah, standing still, C does nothing. Walking, it does nothing. Okay. But as soon as you're holding shift and hit C, then yeah, you just... Just launch. All right, now where is my parasaur at? Nope, not that. Not the explore notes. The uh, timid list. Oh, right here. Okay, cool. And uh, let's go. Actually. I wonder how freakishly fast. 0.5 per level. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and. That. So we have Viking Empire, which is the Eco's Viking mod I was talking about. And we also have a uh, Peachy's Viking d uh, Decor, which is a great mod. I've used it before. Loved it. It hasn't been updated since like 2019, though. So, hopefully it works. Hopefully. Uh, and I've got a lot of things to learn now because we're level 64 all of a sudden. Um, yeah, definitely a stick light, though. Sure, why not? Uh, trank dart. Yeah, I'll go ahead and learn that. I'll learn the saddles as I need them. Actually, that's a question. Seventy-four. I'm guessing this is your saddle here, right? Oh, and we have the better farming mod installed as well. Main reason for that is that mod is actually by Nakatus, one of the creators of this map. So I figured, why not? Um, yeah, I'll get to Canteen eventually. I'm not too worried about it. Most of the stuff I'll get to eventually when I need it. I, I do want to go ahead and learn the additional lighting stuff because while well, I can. There we go, and that and the additional lighting stuff is all free, so. Rionix Carno Saddle. Masonry Table, sure, we'll go ahead and learn that. Tyranodon Saddle, I've already got a Tyranodon, so it seems like a good idea. That's free, so we'll go ahead and learn that as well. Gilly Armor. Uh, proved we do not need ghillie armor to tame these things. It probably will make it a little easier to get close, though. I wonder if there's still Denonicus on this map. Uh, we're not really that far away from uh, where they would be. You don't really heal that quick on your own, do you? Uh, yeah, let's get you up to, like, say, 5300-ish, so at least the red glow goes away off the screen. Uh, it goes away at 5100, or 5130, but, yeah, I want to be able to take a couple of light hits without immediately lapsing back into that state. There we go. And, go ahead and gamma up to three. Oh god, that was a mistake. I thought that water was a lot deeper. 